वी आर टेकिंग आर डी शर्मा सोल्यूशन क्लास इलेवन चैप्टर नंबर थ्री फंक्शन एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट फोर हेयर एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूड एक्स प्लस वन एंड जी एक्स इज वन बाय एक्स सो वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड इज टू एफ प्लस जी माइनस एच वन एंड टू एक्स टू एफ प्लस जी माइनस एच जीरो सो वेन यू हैव एफ एंड जी इन प्लस एंड माइनस सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दिन ऑफ दिस वन डोमेन ऑफ दिस वन एंड देन वी विल इंटरसेक्ट दैट इज दिस दिस इज एक्स प्लस वन राइट एंड वी नो दैट एक्स प्लस वन बिकॉज इट इज इन द न्यूब्रेटर एक्स प्लस वन शुड बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो इट कैन बी जीरो ऑल्सो इट कैन बी इट कैन नॉट बी नेगेटिव एंड दिस वन बाय एक्स एक्स कैन नॉट बी जीरो इट कैन नेवर बी जीरो so x plus 1 is greater than equal to 0 that is x is greater than equal to minus 1 so if i make a number line this is 0 this is 1 minus 1 so x is greater than equal to minus 1 that is this is included and here and this says x is not equal to x is not equal to 0 so what we will do there are two methods first the union method the second method is you just write minus 1 to infinity both inclusive both are inclusive because this is greater than or equal to minus 1 and just disregard this zero so just minus zero from here so this is the way you can write the domain so when you need to find out 2f plus g minus h let us find out 2fx that is 2 into root x plus 1 gh is 1 by x and minus 2x square plus 3 now when you put 1 here when you put 1 in place of x what do you get 2 under root 2 this is 1 by 1 1 minus 2 uh, this is 1 square plus 3 So two root two and three plus one is four. Four minus two is two. So this is two f plus g minus h. We are just putting when we do two f plus g minus h, we just we are just putting x equal to one. Now the second one is two f plus g minus h zero. So when you put zero here, you don't have to worry anything about here because once you put zero here, and when we have disregarded zero, we have already said that zero cannot come here. So if you put a zero, it will be undefined. So you just say it does not exist. we cannot have a zero here we cannot have a, have a zero here because the domain says we cannot have a zero here so this is the answer now we have y equal to fx 1 minus x x less than 0 1 when x is equal to 0 and x plus 1 when x is greater than 0 this means there are three lines here you know y equal to 1 minus x or you can write y equal to minus x plus 1 this is equivalent to y equal to mx plus c m is minus 1 c is 1 right so when y equal to mx plus c this kind of situation is there then we will have a line so first of all this is x axis this is y axis so we have to make the graph of this one so y equal to 1 for x equal to 0 so when x equal to 0 that is we are talking about about y axis when x is equal to 0 y axis and here y is equal to 1 so y is 1 here we make a line right then y equal to x plus 1 For x greater than zero, so this will come as come like this, and this one y equal to one minus x. This is the line. So this is y equal to one minus x or f x equal to one minus x. For x less than zero, for x greater than zero, it is y equal to one plus x, and for x equal to zero, it is one here. So if you see how this one plus x has come, how this line has been formed, you can just draw a line. Uh, say put x equal to one, y will be equal to two. Put x equal to say two. Y will be equal to three. So x is one. Y is two. This x is one. Y will be two. X is two. Uh, y is three. Just make an intersection point and just draw a line. So this is how you are going to make a line for y equal to one plus x, and this is how you are going to make for y equal to one minus x. Here this f x will be equal to zero, right? This is. Next is uh, this is a three point four. Now f is three x minus two, and the f f x is x plus one, and g x is two x minus three. F x is x plus one, and g x is two x minus three. So when we say f f plus g x, that is x plus one plus two x minus three. What do you get? You get two x plus x is x and one minus three is minus two. So three x, three x minus two. So this is your f plus g, and uh, there will be no problem with the domain because anything can be put in uh, x plus one also. Anything can be put in 
two x minus three also, because they will take the real numbers. When we are talking about f minus e, so x plus one minus two x plus three. So x minus two x is minus x. One plus three is four. So minus x plus four is f minus e. How about f by g? F x by g x. So when you put f x by g x, this is x plus one by two x minus three. So here the only concern is this should not be zero. So two x minus three is zero when x will be equal to three by two. So all the real numbers except three by two, this is the domain. This is domain of x plus one by two x minus three. Coming to this one here. You have uh, this f x, f x as root x, and g x as x. So when you add them, just add them and subtract them. But the only thing is that this root cannot have a, this x cannot have a because it is inside root. It has to be greater than equal to zero. So our domain will become zero to infinity because it is greater than equal to zero. This is a square bracket. This is a round bracket. So zero to infinity for uh, root x plus x, zero to infinity for root x minus x, and then we have this zero to infinite when we multiply this also zero to infinite because x root x is x to the power half, and this x is x to the power one. So we get x to the power half plus one is three by two. Then we have f x by g x. So when we say f x by g x, what is f x? Root x uh, by g x. So root x by x. When you say f x by g x. It is root x by x, and root x by x. This cannot be. This cannot be zero, or this this can be zero, but this has to be greater than equal to zero. So x is greater than equal to zero, but this cannot be zero. So x cannot be zero also. So it is x greater than zero. So what will be the domain of this one? It will be. We have to not include zero, but it, we can go up to infinite. So this is round bracket. Now if you take uh, g x by f x, that is x by root x. So this root x x cannot be greater than uh, x cannot be negative. So x has to be greater than zero. This x can take any value. So real number is there. So x is greater than zero. That means you have to take a zero and again infinite. This is not included, right? Here also it is not included because this uh, not equal to zero has nullified this greater than equal to zero. So zero to infinite is the domain. Now coming to this one, f x is x square and g x is 2x plus 1. So when we say f plus g, that is x square plus 2x plus 1, right? So we don't have to worry about domain because anything can be taken here. So it will be x plus 1 whole square actually. F minus g is this x square minus 2x minus 1. So this is x square minus 2x minus 1. F into g again, no problem with the domain. You can have 2x. Just multiply x square with 2x plus 1. What do you get? 2x cube plus x square. 2x cube plus x square. Now f by g. When we say f by g, this is x square by 2x plus 1. So x can take any value, but here x cannot take any value. 2x plus 2x plus 1 cannot be zero. So when it is zero, 2x will be equal to minus 1. X will be equal to minus 1 by 2. So x is equal to minus 1 by 2. That is, this minus half is creating a trouble. So x equal to minus half cannot be there. So all the real number except minus half for x. This is the domain. And you can say just x square by two x plus one. So this is all about this exercise, exercise number three point four. Adi Sharma, take care of yourself. Bye bye.